Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a demo about Salesforce Lightning Map and how that can be used in the LWC component. A LWC component that we are going to develop. And then we will have uh, another thing is that uh, um, if required, we may, we may need to make use of uh, uh, apex classes but in in this demo we will not be using apex classes because we 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 would be retrieving the data from the wire functions so let's get started okay so first what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a uh, lightning web component and i'm going to give a demo um, name as generic map and I will create it in the default LWC directory you can you can choose any other directory if you want to separate out those okay so now you can see that uh, a new component has been created and just remove that so uh, in this map what uh, you have uh, uh, we go to the HTML part of uh, this. Okay, so to start with, what we have to do is that we have to uh, add the template uh, which would be used for showing the lightning map. So what I would do is that uh, lightning map marker directly. So what you have to do is that lightning map tag you have to use. Okay, so in this uh, lightning map you need to make use of uh, um, you need to have map markers as well as the zoom level then you have uh, center so there are multiple properties that you need to set when when you are using a lightning map component so here in our case what we have to do is that we have to make use of map markers so currently i'll just put it as a blank value and uh, the other uh, property is a zoom level so another is zoom level that I will create. So here you can have multiple zoom levels. Uh, uh, so for now, what I will do is that we'll, we'll make use of uh, the 15 as the zoom level. So uh, 15 is something which is uh, fine enough for us to show the marker perfectly on, on, on the layout. Okay, so uh, in the uh, HTML part, we don't have anything uh, much to do. Uh, when we would be uh, when we would be doing the changes in the JavaScript part at that time we would uh, make any modifications here if any required like we want to show the map only when in an address of an account is there or not in the rec uh, that particular record in that case we want to show the map and if the address is not there then we don't want to show the map to the user so those kind of uh, um, conditions I, we will use uh, when once we uh, we have retrieved the data so first i went go through this uh, javascript part where what i will do is that so first i would be doing is that i want to retrieve the data from uh, the backend and for that what i have to do is that i have to make use of get record method and this would be called from lightning ui record API okay now <clears throat> since uh, we would be needing uh, we would need uh, the address component address part of the um, account field so for that what we have to do is that we need to define what all fields uh, is required to display the map so for displaying the map we have like in in account as you can see you have like uh, billing street billing city billing state then billing postal code and country so out of all these uh, billing street and postal code uh, like uh, any two part of the uh, things would be sufficient enough to show the uh, map and basically uh, if you have uh, billing street and postal code uh, is there in your uh, in your address then uh, to show the marker on the map it would be easier uh, it would be easier and the map will be shown perfectly fine so first i'll do is that i'll 
quickly create the field array. So in this, I will write down the names of uh, fields that we would be requiring. So we have created the fields. Now uh, let's declare some of the wire function that will fetch these details. So I'll start with the wire function. API. So this uh, this will be a record ID that will be automatically populated whenever you have this component uh, placed onto the any um, page uh, a, a, a detailed record of an any object. So right now in our case we have account. Uh, but in case of any other uh, any other object, if we place this same component, then that record ID would be stored here. So first we have the key and the value would be Now let's get the details. So wired a record and here we would have error and data considering both the things so first we go with the data part in the data um, okay uh, before going to that since we are getting this error we need to import these uh, one is like API, another is wire. So any of the uh, things that you are using here, the decorators, you have to mention it in the import statement as well. Okay. So now you see that the error have gone now. Now in in the data, the things that I need to capture is uh, uh, I need I need a uh, like map marker that will store the value of these uh, address fields so what I uh, will do is that name I'm putting as map marker and yeah. here again we are getting the uh, this red line so we need to mention here the track item okay so we have declared this uh, uh, map markers of array type um, since you in the uh, in this component it's more than one markers can be can be shown so that's why we um, I'm keeping this as an array now uh, since we need to we need to uh, put the values onto this so what I'm going to do is that I need I need to get the values so <clears throat> what I will do is that I will uh, make use of uh, uh, another values of like local variables I would say so I will create uh, like same things one is like billing now uh, so what I am going to do is that I am going to add billing city to billing uh, here we need to put the values Billing city. So this would be caps here and dot value. So you can, uh, if you want to, like, uh, since I know that uh, under this data you have fields and the field name is here and then the value uh, is another uh, part of it, and in that you will have the value of the billing city. Similarly, if you are unsure that um, uh, what would be what would be there inside of the data what you can do is that you can put here as a json dot stringify and under that you can put this data you can put anything uh, for your uh, convention to identify whether what kind of log it was data from account by wire so this way you can identify like what all result came came in from this data right so similarly, I'll 
write down this dot this map marker so what we have to do is that uh, uh, just uh, take a const of uh, marker and we declare this one as something like an array and in that array, uh, sorry an object and in that object you have uh, a location key okay and in this location you can you need to have uh, 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 mention the keys like street and here you can say uh, Now there is one error here, I missed it. So we have to put it as comma instead of putting the semicolon. Now our location is filled up and uh, we want to, if, if, if we see that we want to give the title of uh, that marker, then what we have to do is that we have to mention here as the title. And title could be like uh, uh, name of that account we can say. So what I can do is that, uh, if we want to show the title of that and we want the account's name itself. So for this case, what I'm going to do is that I'll just take the name as well. Okay, name of the account. And uh, here I can say that I need account name. Okay, and here this dot account name data dot fields dot name dot value so here we can see this dot account name if it is there this dot account name okay so i'm going to save it now we would uh, uh, since we have created this marker and now we would uh, we would push this into the uh, map marker. This dot map markers is equal to the, we put it in marker. So we'll put like this. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, either this way or uh, you can directly, uh, instead of like putting, uh, you created a uh, marker here you can you can uh, uh, you can put it in uh, directly here also now in case of error what we have to do is that this dot map markers it would be undefined because we we have not got the map marker and this dot error we are going to put it as error fine now uh, our component is almost ready uh, we just have to make the additional changes in the html markup side and that would be is uh, like uh, i'll put it uh, as a conditional template so if If true, so if we have uh, map markers, then we are going to show this map. And if the map marker is not there, we, we are not going to show it. Okay, so I'm not putting any, any error scenarios here. I'm just putting only when the marker is there, then only display the map. And uh, since we have the map markers value here, so we have to put the map markers name here also uh, there is additional uh, thing that we need to do is that 
we need to put it as uh, expose as true and uh, another thing is that uh, this should be available in like uh, what what uh, it should be available in the lightning record page so uh, i'll do one thing and here you can see there is a long list of things is there now uh, as you can see here uh, this component would be displayed on the lightning dot page that's why we have kept it like this um, i think everything is fine now let's get uh, push it to the org and so the generic map is now okay so here you can see uh, i have already opened the org now what i have to do is that i have to edit the page so we have to edit go here and i want to display the map here so what i would do is that i will pull the generic map here save it and then go back so now you can see that my map is loaded with the marker okay now if suppose uh, i have the billing address and I, I i remove that billing address right so let's remove this and these things just to show you that if the these values are not there then a map should not be displayed so now you can see that since i have removed the billing address and if i refresh the page then the map should be gone and it should not be displayed in the detailed record page and here you can see that now the map is not shown and if i go back again and edit the billing address and i add whatever street is there whatever city is there then ks zip code and country so if i click on save and we can see that now the map is shown here with the marker as i have shown you that uh, the account name can be shown by using the title key from the map markers so guys uh, this is all i have in this uh, lightning map demo uh, for the next video please stay tuned thank you